Here we are. What? Okay, I was told this is the biggest one bedroom I'll ever see. This is a really good view facing east, lots of light. There's laundry, two gorgeous bathrooms. There goes the Roosevelt Island trolley. My only complaint is that I feel poor just being in here. When there's a shoe repair in the subway, you know you're in Midtown. Boy, if you wanna walk to work, this would be really convenient. But if you take the train right when you get out, there's plenty of candy, coffee, and donuts. And when it's lunchtime, there you go, street meat. If this is where you eat all your meals, you'll be in incredible shape. And that's not a good kind of incredible. Now, as you can see here on Lexington Avenue, there is not a whole lot going on. But lucky for us, the apartment's not near any of these big buildings. It's actually actually over here off First Avenue. That's where we came from and look, it's turned back into a little neighborhood. This corner cafe is bumping. Lots of seating, coffee and beer. Uppers and downers, what? Could go wrong. Speaking of downers, next to that we've got the local bong store. They also have CBD. Next to that you can get an incredible bagel. Tal bagels, these are a chain but you should definitely try it. Then we have Jimbo's Burgers. Check this place out, it's been in the neighborhood forever. I wasn't alive then. Next to the burger place you can get some flowers. This will bring some excitement and life to your new apartment. Nothing says excitement like that tiny little pumpkin. And after that we have Petzl. Supply. If you've got a dog, you can buy it this inspector gadget jacket. I swear, in this city, some people's dogs are dressed better than I am. Now, if after you buy today's apartment and you have a little money left over, you could put it in this bank, which, in an effort to seem relatable, will give you an Air 5. Air 5s show you that they're not a greedy bank and that they're actually in touch with the human spirit. This grocery store is only one block away from the apartment. It's not a whole thing. Foods, but Morton Williams, not bad as far as New York groceries go. It's better than Gristidi's. Or you could just buy your vegetables on the street. Sometimes the prices there are better than inside the actual grocery store. Over here we have the local liquor store. If you're too drunk to get here, they will deliver. Very convenient. And next to that, there's a local seafood spot. Isn't this nice? We're just one block away from the apartment. Right now we're walking along Sutton Place. And maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but there's a tiny little park out here. Look at it. You can see the water. It's kind of nice. This is the view. Check that out. You can see all the way downtown. And you can also see the bridge to Roosevelt Island. For some reason, there's also this creepy wild boar statue. There's weird snakes and stuff on it. Now, this probably isn't true, but something like that could indicate the presence of occult activity. This is where they put the sacrifices, right there. Here we are at the building. It has a name, the Sovereign. Look at that. It looks like they got indoor parking. And even in the front, there's a little park. Good to see you, man. I was just texting you. I was like, we're at the same place, right? We are. It's a big place. Are we going to get All lost right. in here today? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I was told this is the biggest one bedroom I'll ever see, and that looks like a true statement. This is a really good view facing east, lots of light. This direction's facing north. You can see the rest of Midtown. Let's get the details on this one. Today we're looking at apartment 32F in the Sovereign, priced at 1,375,000. It's approximately 1,375 square feet. This view is just mesmerizing. Like, how are you gonna eat there and have a meaningful conversation with that to look at? As you can imagine, full time doorman. Oh, there's a brochure. Look at all the fun things to do in here. Not only is there parking, they'll change your oil. This also says they have a notary public and a paper shredder. There's really too many to list, uh, but they're residents only, so I can't go in there with a camera. Now, what's also pretty sweet is just outside the apartment, look at that. There's two elevators, there's the neighbor, and then there's our apartment, so it means that it's like a semi-private entrance. 
Right after you walk in, you're in this little hallway area, which has a ginormous coat closet. After this, you've got like a little seating area and then you walk towards the living space. But this, you could do a lot with it. It's 10 feet, seven inches by 10 feet, three inches. Don't get me wrong, I love this minimal setup and this brushed aluminum bookcase. But this massive common area, this is what this apartment is all about. 23 feet, two inches by 24 feet, 10 inches. Inches. It's essentially two living rooms next to each other. This is like the movie area. Right there you can see the entertainment center. Across from this you could have some seating. If that's where you're watching movies, this is where you're talking to people and having conversations. If it were me, I would sit here and have people congratulate me on all my success. That's why I don't own this place. The kitchen's over there and you could have a table of any size in this area. And just look at that view. Again, these are some of the best windows you could ask for. There goes the rose Roosevelt Island trolley and we're actually higher up than the bridge so our view here is better through this little door we've got the kitchen it's a pass-through and it's got just about everything over here's the laundry right here in the corner then over here we've got this massive refrigerator next to this there is a microwave can you imagine if there wasn't a microwave a massive oven there's a four burner range and a vent of course there's a dishwasher and best of all there is a sink sprayer Look at that. The lighting in here is also great. Plus, we're like surrounded by counter space. Look at it. It just kind of wraps around the entire kitchen on both sides. And you know the kitchen's got an incredible view. That's every window we've got in this apartment. Cabinet space is also really good. Now, if that storage wasn't enough for you, in this little hallway that separates the kitchen from the bathroom, you've got this massive set of closets. Check this out. That's huge. And it's a good thing we were snooping around because we found the wine fridge. It's got some wine in it too, look at that. Off the side here we have the first bathroom and it's a half bath, but it's really nice. Look at this fancy sink. Then there's a mirror up here. It's not a medicine cabinet, but at the end of the day, this is the bathroom that guests and visitors are gonna use. And do you really want a stranger putting medicine in your medicine cabinet? I didn't think so. This direction is where we will find the bedroom and it feels like we've just walked into a separate apartment. Look at how far away Phil is. The view here is facing north, really cool. Also, this is worth pointing out, even though you can see all that traffic down there, there is absolutely no noise getting into this apartment. It is super quiet. And that means whoever gets to sleep in here is gonna sleep like a baby. We've got 12 feet, 10 inches by 18 feet, four inches. I think whatever size bed you put in here is gonna look tiny. You don't have to have this couch here. You could put dressers or a home office set up in that corner. And across from the bed, you could mount a TV on the wall and put all kinds of storage over there. There's also also plenty of built-in storage. We got this big closet right here. Check this out. In the East Village, this would be a bedroom with a mattress in it somehow. But here it's just an incredible walk-in closet. Now, the hallway we entered through has another big closet. So I don't know how many dressers you're gonna need. This is practically its own dresser. That's smart. Look, there's a little mirror in here so you can see if you look stupid. Is there even more storage behind the door? Yup, look at that. Okay, this looks like it's being used as a linen closet. And that makes sense because next to that we have the full bath and not only does it have a big tub it's also got its own walk-in shower look at that you just walk right in and spray yourself with this thing i think this is how astronauts on the space station clean themselves after you step out you got another cool looking sink and since guests probably won't use this there is a medicine cabinet oh is it i do not want to break anything okay it is check that out lots of storage boy if i break something in here not only am i I gonna not be allowed back to do any more videos. I'll have to pay for it and I definitely don't want to do that. Either way, this is a really nice looking bathroom and this is a really nice looking apartment. If you're interested, this guy right here, you need to talk to Phil again. His information's gonna be below. And if you're in the mood to see more apartments, pick another one here or here and I'll see you in the next video.